What is cocaine cut with and mixed with? I'm a recovering cocaine and alcoholic addict. Uh, cocaine was my drug of choice. I got sober on 725-17. And one of the things with cocaine that I realized in coke that I struggled with was, oh, it's all natural, it's the coca leaves, and you think that, it, you try and play it up in your head that this is a safe drug. And you sometimes forget that this stuff is cut with other chemicals and other things out there. And this is some of the things that coke is commonly cut with that you may not realize. Make sure if you're new to the channel, you hit the like and subscribe button. Love to share all my stories and my journey and love to have you along for it. What's up guys? My name is Eric and I'm a recovering cocaine alcoholic addict. I love to share my experiences just for the one out there struggling because I know what it was like to be a struggling uh, cocaine addict because we made it up in our heads so much that this is a natural drug, that there's nothing dangerous about cocaine, uh, that it's a safe drug, that it's a rich drug. And it really isn't. When you start to find out what cocaine is is typically cut with and what it's diluted with, it kind of grosses you out. Um, <clears throat> I always thought, you know, hey, it's coke, it's 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 white, it's powder. Oh, it must be, you know, perfect. And I don't care who the dealer is out there. I mean, dealers are pharmacists on a street corner without a degree. Uh, and it comes down to money. It's going to be best bang for your buck. Uh, and trying to stretch drugs as far as they go. And who takes it out on it's it's us as the users um i was doing one to two eight balls of coke a day and that's a lot of coke that's three and a half grams of coke minimum a day i was doing usually about five days a week minimum uh you sometimes up to six i'd always have a day for recovery though with the uh, colombian cold going on up here uh and if you are struggling i do have links down below to na that is one of the ways that i did get sober from this drug but one of the common cutting agents, so a cutting agent is something that's going to get you high still or, or make you feel something uh, and also make the drug go a lot further is aspirin is one of them. Um, caffeine is another one. Amphetamine and lidocaine. Those are four of the most common cutting agents because the texture and color is the same as cocaine. Uh, so they're going to mix it up and you think you're getting you know pure cocaine and you're not. Uh, I hate to say it. I, I don't think there is any pure cocaine here in the U.S., uh, and it is mixed with other stuff. Sometimes also meth is mixed in this. Um, if you get cocaine and it looks like the color is a little bluish or a little grayish, it's typically because methamphetamine has been mixed in also because Coke is a stimulant. They're going to put in a cheaper stimulant drug just to try and make it go fat further. So as a Coke addict, you got to remember, you do not know what you're putting in your body. And that is the scary part about it. Um, you get excited in that rush as an ad addict. But again, it comes down to you have no idea what you're putting in your body. But those are the most common four cutting agents. When it comes to diluting agents, and so diluting agents will just make it go even further, but not going to get you high. Again, these have the same texture and color as cocaine. And that's all it comes down to is just trying to make this drug go a lot further. Um, and guess what? You're putting this stuff in your body. And I don't think anyone would go out necessarily and snort any of these diluting agents by themselves. Uh, laundry detergent is one of those. Um, there's boric acid, meat tenderizer, uh, laxatives, uh, baby laxative is one that's really common. Also Lamisol, which is a, um, a cattle dewormer. <laughs> so these are diluting agents that are in cocaine. Um, they're not necessarily, are they deadly if you snort them by themselves, but it's also not good for you. Um, you got to remember when it comes to this drug, it's all about money and how far this drug will go. And you as the user are the one that is putting stuff into your body that you have no idea what it is. And no one in, in this is trustworthy. I mean, I don't care how well you know your dealer or whatever. You're putting stuff into your body that is extremely dangerous. I mean, think about sitting down with laundry detergent, a tied laundry detergent, and doing a line of that. Because that is what's in cocaine. Um, and it's a struggle because you make it up in your head that no, this, this is pure cocaine and it makes my gums numb or it makes it me tingle or it gives me this high. And there is some placebo effect to it. I mean, it was one of the biggest struggles that I had being a cocaine addict because it, there was like this stigma around it that it's not as bad as a heroin addict or a meth addict or an opiate addict, but it is a struggle out there. It is, it is an addiction out there that can take your soul, that can then put you down this dark path, make you go broke, take all your money, take your whole life. It is a struggle. So if you are struggling, I mean, my suggestion as a recovering cocaine uh, addict Tell everybody that you're struggling. Tell everybody, dude, I'm a coke addict. I'm a coke addict and I'm struggling. I am struggling. And believe me, your friends already know that there's something up. Um, let them know that you're struggling. and Let them know that you're having a challenge with this drug. Let them know that you definitely need help. Um, there's inpatient, outpatient, different rehabs out there. There's so many programs out there. NA, 
But a lot of it comes down to we think that there is no help out there because we don't even know how to ask for help. And it starts by just telling your friends and family member who you probably have pushed them all away because your addiction has destroyed your life and isolated you. Um, and they're waiting for that point in time where you tell them all, dude, I'm struggling. I need help. So reach out to them all. Comment down below. Hit the like and subscribe button. I'm not an expert when it comes to this, but I have a lot of experience because this is what I did for a lot of my life, unfortunately. But thankfully, you do get sober. Uh, I like to share just from personal experiences because I lost a wife and a father to suicide. I'm diagnosed with ADHD, PTSD, GAD, MDD. Those are my diagnoses. Um, again, I'm a recovering addict. And I know that the more that we share, the more that you know that you're not alone and the more that you don't feel alone. So if you are struggling out there, reach out for help because it does get better.